in any city, in any country. Go to any mental institution you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of wealth. The worker will raise one eyebrow. Ask a second time, and the worker will shrug and take you across the street where an opulent mansion awaits. The mansion was not there before. But do not preoccupy yourself with the mansion's origin. Its owner would rather not scare you away. Inside the front door, there is a grand staircase spiraling up across the foyer. The walls are covered with fine paintings, and a large marble statue rests on a pedestal by the base of the stairs. The statue's eldritch features evoke an image of a truly horrific beast, a creature at once both alien and evil. Admire it all you want, but don't touch it. Touching it will wake it, and it hasn't eaten in a while. Ascend the staircase. As long as you touch nothing, you are in no danger. Don't panic. At the top of the stairs is a small, unassuming wooden door. It will open for you, if you are not afraid. Standing there, behind a large desk of what appears to be mahogany, there stands a man with a pointed goatee and short, cropped, gelled hair. He wears a suit that at once appears to be made of human flesh and Italian silk. He may speak, and at great length. He will talk about his amazingly beautiful house, and the lovely statue of his concubine resting downstairs. Do not interrupt him! and do not answer any questions he may ask. When he is finished, steal yourself and confidently ask, May I have my salary? He will proceed to explain to you, in great detail, the value of life. He will talk of things worse than death, and he will tell you exactly what he expects you to do. The fabulous interior of the room will rot away, and the floor will turn from French weave to feces. His own appearance will become unimaginably cyclopean and ungodly. He will then fish out a small banknote from the inside of his human suit and hand it to you. That note is object 8 of 538. Its holder is counting on you to spend it. <laughs> 